Hi, this is Jennifer Moore, Director of SAP Solutions Sales at Senate North America, and I'd like to welcome you to our fourth and final video of our series on SAP Product Structure Management, also known as SAP PSM. Today we'll cover a solution by our sister company, Caristo, to export the data from SAP PSM to an Excel file. This also compares different configurations. The solution is called Product Structure Comparison and Export. Of course, SAP PSM also has an Excel export function. Unfortunately, it's quite simple and offers a limited range of features. For instance, only manually opened elements are exported. With the SAP PSM export function, it is not possible to work with layouts to determine which columns are exported, and only data from PSM can be exported, meaning it excludes material data, BOM data is not included, there's no data from change master records, BOM items, or classifications. Also, only one configuration can be exported at a time. So of course, a comparison of different configurations is not readily available. These are all points where we fill in with the product structure comparison and export, which as mentioned, not only offers us Excel export, but also the display of the product structure in the SAP ALV table view with additional fields from material masters, bombs and change numbers, as well as classification data. With the added option to design and use layout, dissolve bombs, and display their positions in the structure. Also included is the ability to compare different configurations, i.e. simulations, directly in the table. With complete depiction of dependencies, not only different 100% configurations, but also 150% configurations can be compared. All of these options are available for Excel export, which makes the configuration comparison possible in Excel. With our solution, it is also possible to email the generated Excel file directly from the transaction. Last but not least, the complete dependency maintenance table can be exported to the product structure and evaluated in Excel. Now let's take a look at this in the system. We'll take a quick look at our product structure for continuity. Here we have our small air conditioner, the F10AC product structure, which you may recall from our previous videos on SAP PSM. We already have a simulation in a configuration with two climate zones, but without GPS, which becomes an open question as we move forward. However, we also use this simulation in the Excel export for the configurations we use. For example, let's compare. Here we see just our pre-selected air conditioning and as another selection criteria, the simulation we want to display or export. We also see we have multiple choices. I chose two. One, two zone air conditioner for the American market without GPS and one with. In our air conditioner, the navigation for the car is integrated if necessary. Furthermore, I can see the criteria, the control to include bomb structures. This means I can easily select the explode bomb structure function here. Data on bomb items with export and with ads. Then I decide if I want to use the date of the PSM simulation or maybe give it a different date for the validity or effectivity date of the bill of materials. Then a maximum level for a bomb explosion. Our sample bombs really are not particularly deep, so let's say five levels. And then I have the possibility to integrate data from the PSM classification to export. By selecting this checkbox here, which determines that this data will be displayed as well. I want to be able to see what I've selected presented in the ALV grid of SAP. In addition, it's also possible to initiate an Excel export or send the generated Excel file directly by email only by authorized users as mentioned previously. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this in the, at the ALV and Excel export functions. When exporting Excel, we have other options, like exporting the PSM dependency maintenance table, DMT, or I can display the data for the simulations on a separate sheet. 
there's an important function that I'd like to go ahead and highlight here, the use of layouts. For representation in the ALV grid, I don't have to choose a starter layout. I could easily create one and then use it for the Excel export. Let me show you a layout that I've prepared and look at the whole thing at once in the ALV grid. Expand the entire structure, and here you can see we have the data from our product structure, also in a tabular representation. We're at the product family level right now, then at the nodes of this product family, and finally we're going to come down to the variants. Here we see level four, and then comes a special, special feature of the tool we see here, level five and six. There we go into the bombs, into the explosion. What we normally see on level four are the bomb headers or simply material master records displayed here. And it's also possible with our solution to export these bomb items along with the corresponding data, such as change numbers that belong to it. Then we're going to see the object dependencies and the corresponding product item variants here. And finally, we see again which variant is in each of our simulations. Is it active or currently not active and can already form a relatively simple comparison of these configurations. As shown, because we have different electronics, depending on whether we have a GPS with it or not, and our display is different depending on whether we have the controls and the space for the navigation system or not. And you can actually see all of that right over here. And it's beautifully illustrated through these different check boxes that we have on the simulations. Um, actually, let's go ahead and take a look at this in Excel. Let me go back over here and then we'll go to the Excel export. And we're gonna take the DMT, again, that dependency maintenance table with us, and we'll look at it all in Excel. What we see, of course, here is really the same that we've already established. We have the product family, the nodes of the family, the variants, and in addition, the bomb items. Here we also have the data on materials on bomb items in the display. And these colored columns over here at the top are really gonna help us quickly identify the type of bomb data. It's obvious here that we're using the data from the material master record and the data from the bomb to fall back on. And of course, I have many options at my disposal to build bigger layouts. But for this small example, these options should be enough. Then as we saw earlier, the depiction of the relational knowledge and for the comparison of variants, the uh, representation of the simulation and the assignment of the individual variants to their respective simulations are all here. Again, it's all included in the Excel export function. Now, we've also added this page over here on the selection criteria, which includes what data and decisions led to this particular Excel result. And that really means that you're going to replicate this whole thing simply and easily. And last but not least with this data, I can also deposit selection variants accordingly. I can display my simulations real quick. And one thing that I think is really nice to show here is how we've evaluated the characteristics necessary for the configurations in these simulations. Of course, with the dependency maintenance table, which is also included, we have a much better view. We understand exactly how our PSM, like our air conditioning, is configured. And here you can see the characteristics and characteristic values and uh, which of these variants and characteristic values are selected. And here's the presentation of the simulation one last time. All right, great. So that really concludes today's demo on our product structure compare and export solution. I hope you enjoyed the overview. And as usual, I do just wanna take a quick moment to point out a couple of the business benefits that people have realized when using our solution, uh, product structure comparison and export. On one hand, it allows you to take advantage of the entire product structure at once into an easy to use Excel file 
which means it's no longer necessary to keep your Excel files manually up to date with the PSM. Just go ahead and export a new one at will. In the Excel file, you can use the visual analysis functions and benefit from quick and easy Excel search functions. And in addition, our solution helps you to readily understand the current state of PSM without chasing data or upfront work to communicate in such a widely accepted format. This also means that you can minimize the number of SAP PSM licenses that you need to achieve your business goals. Thanks again for joining our series on SAP PSM. That's really it for now. If there's another PSM topic that you'd like for us to cover, or if you have additional questions, please feel free to reach out to us at Senate North America at info at Senate.com, or of course our sister company, part of the Senate family of companies, Caristo, at myquestion at Caristo.com. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.